Here we go again, vinyl update time. A um, little bit of a change of scenery here. Uh, I want you to get too, too bored with my background. Um, there's always plenty to look at back here. You can see it. Uh, this is a sort of a mixed and matched type video. Uh, some different things I've picked up here and there. Um, the first thing I'll show is I showed this uh, previous issue in a video not too long ago. And I said something about, said it was their last issue, and I didn't really know at that point if it truly was or, or what was going on. But I guess they've just relaunched it. So here's the new issue with the new logo, Mad Magazine. And I don't know if they've relaunched like this before or not. This is the number one issue. And then this is the actual cover right there. So, and I went ahead and picked this up. I was going to, and I thought, no, I'm not going to. And then I thought, yes, I will. And I thought, no, I won't. Um, but these issues and the last issue on, Am I think it was Amazon, they're already like 10 or $12. And they're normally like $5.99 in the, you know, if you buy them new in the store. So I thought, okay, is that just because Amazon charges more? And that's not with shipping. That's just the, uh, the actual price before shipping. Um, or I thought, is that because people really collect them and once they're out, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're collectible. Everything's collectible. Um, and then I picked this up. This is, uh, this was in the clearance at, uh, half price books. It's a reggae 45 sound system. And this is a really thick book here, but it's, uh. This was only three dollars in the clearance, and it's it's really cool. I mean, I can't really open it up too much because it's uh, I don't want to break the binding, but it's all basically like that if you look at it. So I'll be looking through this pretty thorough. It's got some really cool labels on it. That one back there, mummy label. So yeah, if you go to half price and you see see that in the clearance, you might want to. Pick it up if they still have some. They had about three of those when I was there. And then I picked up this poster. I'm not going to take it out. It's just basically the movie poster for Reefer Madness. Bought that at that Hemptations store we went to in Cincinnati where I got my incense that I showed in my last video. My last video was Record Store Day video. Check that out, will you? And then some of the odds and ends that I got at, I think most of these, if not all of them, came from well, all but two came from the Half Price Books dollar bin. Uh, pr provocative Percussion Volume 4. I bought this one basically because I didn't know if I had it or not. I probably do have it, but I for 99 cents I wasn't going to take a chance that I didn't. So they had the first two volumes. I don't think they had three. So that's, of course, on command. See, I picked that one up. And then this one is also on command. I'd never seen it before. The Great Arrival, Doc Severinsen. So, I really like his music a lot. It's actually got some pictures in there. Some of those, most of those don't. And then these are, this is the command ABC. It's a regular command label there. But up here in the corner, it has the command ABC. So this must have been one of the transition records. Uh, and then this one, I think it's pronounced Zy Zetner, Swing Country and his orchestra. Uh, I've pronounced that wrong in the past, I think. I used to say Z Zetner, but I think it's Zy Zetner. Anyway, some good stuff. He's a trombonist. And very good. This is on Liberty. Same label as Martin Denny. And then I also picked this one up, Waltz in Jazz Time. I always pick up his records when I don't, the ones I see I don't have, which doesn't happen very often. 
Uh, I found um, an amazingly, I found one not too long ago that I've been looking for. Well, I wasn't really looking for it because I didn't think it was possible to get a hold of. Found in a thrift store that uh, the Zizetner one for the Swinging Eye. I'm sure if you've seen that cover, you'd recognize it. Uh, and then this one I thought was really cool. Phys Physician Series, Parent-Child uh, Coordinated Record, Threshold of Womanhood. And at first, when I first seen this, I thought it was a command record just because of the way it looks. And But it's obviously not. It's a gatefold. Hello. It's a gatefold there with your... Uh, I guess that's the uh, the vulva. Is that what you say? The vulva? There you go. Get a close up of the vulva. And I had this with it, which this is sex teaching outline given. Uh, I guess someone had printed this off. It says October 4th, 1964. I mean, it might have came with the record. Probably did. Um, and then there's the record. Narrated by S. Ross Fox, M.D. Dedicated to the better mental and physical health through education. So, yeah, I mean, I see that. It's like, well, yeah, I have to have that. Yeah, it, goes, so it has the glossary here. Puberty, sperm, tampon, vagina, hymen, hormones, groin, fallopian tubes, abdomen, ovaries, reproduction, menstruation by the way reproduction the definition of that is having children so if anyone out there wasn't sure about that now you, you sort of know i'm glad i can teach health class here on the bc so you know i can't wait to listen to that record uh this was uh was and is aunt bertha presents sing time printed on a little notebook paper there it looks like and here's Aunt Bertha on the back. You got her, uh, not really a beehive hairdo, but it sort of looks like Mrs. Garrett from the Facts of Life. It's a similar hairstyle. So, yeah, side one is songs, and side two is more songs. Because that's sort of what records are. And it's, it's a label, black vinyl, of course. You know, like I've said, if a lot of these old records that... I buy that no one else wants was colored vinyl and <clears throat> had posters and stuff with them and download cards. I mean, that's just ridiculous to think of, but that would sort of make me want them even more. I don't know if anybody else would want them in it any more than they do, but you can't hurry love and 13 more top songs by the coffee cats. Land of Thousand Dances, Train Boats, Planes, Hanky Panky, Red Rubber Ball, uh, Bus Stop, Summer in the City, Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, I mean, I like the cover and the fact that it, the band's called the Copycats. But yeah, I picked it up basically because it's got Hanky Panky, Wild Thing, and Bus Stop. Those three are really, and Sunshine, Sunshine Superman, those three I'd really want to hear. And there's the label, Columbia. It's in the little sandwich bags that I ate. Uh, and then this one I picked up because I think the record I have, Sounds in Space, this is narrated by Ken Nordine. So, of course, I'm going to pick it up based on that alone. But I think the copy that I have has the wrong record in it. So, I wasn't going to not pass this one up because I think it was in the dollar bin. And there's the original sleeve. Really cool. RCA. And that's a picture, by the way. It's not the actual record, which is funny. We got Ken Nordine. You've heard me go on and on about how I love, you know, the Word Jazz albums and the Colors albums. I'd like to get some more Ken Nordine. And then those are the ones, those are all the dollar bin records. I got a couple more here that I picked up at... Uh, at the mall <clears throat> at FYE, which I don't do very often, mainly because uh, a lot of, I won't say a lot of their records, but they carry, they cater to a newer um, 
a younger audience, I should say, if I can spit it out. Um, and a lot of those bands is like, like I said in one of my previous videos, I don't, I don't know a lot of those groups. So that just shows that I'm out of touch with, with more, uh, modern music, I guess. Um, but then a lot of the stuff that I do know, like Zeppelin and whoever else, um, not necessarily Zeppelin specifically, but they're overpriced, you know, cause it's the mall. But these were really a good price because they were on sale and I would about floored when I seen this because I didn't know it was on vinyl as far as reissue. Um, Skid Row, Beside Ourselves. And Kat showed this recently in one of her videos because I bought her one too. Because they were, she's a big Skid Row fan and so am I. Uh, and I was just going to originally buy her one. Uh because I just had never seen them. And this is the actual sleeve, but the record wasn't in it. It's just black on the back. And there's the record. And it's uh, colored vinyl. It's like a corpse gray, I guess you'd say. I actually forgot that it was colored vinyl till just now. But it's it's like an EP, Skid Row's EP, I suppose. Um, I think this one came out right before... Uh, subhuman race and I think subhuman race might have been the last one that they did with Sebastian Bach um, and I I would love to see Sebastian Bach in concert but and I know Sebastian's probably not watching this but if you are Sebastian uh, not only are you great great singer and you know you're a big Kiss fan, record collector. Um, but I would love to see you do vinyl videos showing your vinyl collection, you know, as a member of the VC. I think that'd be great. Uh, really, anybody that collects records that's, you know, well-known, um, if they made vinyl videos, I think that'd be great. Because uh, the one guy that played uh, in Lord of the Rings, um, his name escapes me right now, but he played The Hobbit. Uh, he collects records. And what's his name? I can't think of it. But, you know, anybody that collects records, that, to me, that's just so interesting. But Sebastian's collection, I think, would be awesome. Uh, this is the 1992 covers EP. Limited gray vinyl, it says. Um, it's got five songs. Psychotherapy, which is a Ramon song. Come on to love me, which is a Kiss song. Del Delivering the Goods, which is Judas Priest. Uh, what You're Doing, I'm not sure who does that. Oh, it's a, a Rush song. And Little Wing, which was uh, Jimi Hendrix. So, really awesome to find that. And then the last one I got here was, I had to look at this one twice because it's like, okay, well, one, I didn't realize that he did solo albums. And I think this, this album or his solo albums uh, came out before he put together his most recent band that's that's like a you know a current band uh, but this is Chris Robinson and it's a psychedelic front and back there and it's a double album and this one was a really good price too uh, Here's side A. It looks really blurry. Is it supposed to look blurry? It just looks blurry on the camera, I guess. And it's colored vinyl. It's got an owl and a moon on that side. How cool is that? And, and this is... Not only the only Chris Robinson I have, but I don't have any Black Crows or anything on vinyl. But this is also, there's side, that's A and B, and this is C and D. This is also the only, to my knowledge, I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, this is the only double album I have in my collection that the, the records are two separate colors. This is like a deep burgundy. You can pick that up there, but most of the time, 
when they do a double album, it's usually the same color vinyl. So I think that's really awesome that these are two different colors. I mean, apparently it doesn't take much to get me excited, does it? And then this has an added bonus. It has a 45 in it. It's called Seeds. Um, there's the back. Which I didn't even know this was in there until I opened it. It's like, oh my god, really? And it has the owl on the label, which that's the color. That one's in color. And it's just black vinyl. But it's like, wow. And this record was as cheap as the Skid Row one. And, I mean, I now I'm going to have to start going to FYE more often. Or at least, I go there all the time, but I mean, I'm going to have to start looking at their records a little more careful. Um, and I want to say, yeah, this one also came with a download card. So, and it came with, well, no, it didn't. This is the hype sticker. I thought it came with something else. No, but this was the hype sticker. It's, um... Chris Robinson Band, and the name of the album, which I don't think I said, was uh, Phosphorescent Harvest, I think is the name of it. There's the hype sticker. Or I guess that's not a hype sticker, that's just the label sticker. So yeah, I was really glad to pick that up. Like I said, I didn't know it existed, and I didn't know that they would have it at you know, the mall of all places for a price that I didn't have to go to the bank and get a loan for. So that was really awesome. And I'm sure that's going to be a great listen because I like the Black Crows a lot. And I'd like to get Chris Robinson Brotherhood. I think they've got a couple albums out I'd like to get. Um, actually, I take that back. I do have a Black Crows. Uh, it's the Black Crows and Jimmy Page. I bought that at uh, Plaid Room Records. Uh, I think it was last year. And I think that's a double album, maybe a triple album. Uh, and it could possibly be colored vinyl. And now I want to pull those records out and see if the two records are different colors. Because I might have lied. You know, my brain won't uh, let me remember everything. But it is what it is. I hate that saying, but I say it all the time. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and, and so on and so forth. Um... If you haven't seen my Record Store Day video, please check it out. I uploaded it right before this one. And um, comment and let me know how your Record Store Day was. I, uh, be wa I'll, I'll be watching a lot more Record Store Day videos and see what people picked up. And um, I, do, I did watch the Amoeba, uh, one of the Amoeba videos, and uh, Vinyl Richie was standing in line so he was on their video i thought that was really cool i was watching it's like there's vinyl richie it's really cool and i watched his video for the stuff that he picked up and he had mentioned it so hope everyone had a good record store day and so on so we'll see you in the next video bye